Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 22 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a PDF of your image. Now, this episode was prompted by one of my students. She emailed me saying that her client wanted to see all the images in PDF form and she didn't know how to create a PDF in Lightroom and it really isn't readily apparent how to do it. As most of you know, after you're done processing your images and you want to create an export file, you would go to File, Export, and you would go down to File Settings. And this is where you would think it should be. It has image format. We have JPEG, PSD, TIFF, DNG, and Original. There's no PDF there. So how do you create a PDF? Well, I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. Now this first way, I'm not 100% sure it works with Windows version of Lightroom. Forgive me for that. I've been using Lightroom forever, but I've always used the Mac version of Lightroom, and I'm not sure this will work with Windows. Perhaps someone could try it out and let me know in the comments section below whether it does work. Now, what we would do in this first method is we go to the print menu right here, the print module, and you could see it automatically laid out this image of my cat on this as though I was printing an 8x10 sheet of paper. What we would do then is go to where it says printer in the lower right hand corner of the right panel and this little print dialog comes up and this is where I think it might be Mac specific. You can see there's a little drop down here that says PDF. Click on that and we simply click on save as PDF. This uh, dialog comes up. I want to save it to the desktop. I'm going to name it Eddie because that's the name of my cat didn't want to do all caps. Eddie, and we're going to click Save. And you can see there's a little status uh, bar up here in the upper left hand corner. It's processing uh, the job and saving the PDF. And I'll minimize that. And you can see we have a PDF here of Eddie. And that's really as simple as that. Now, there is a little versatility here also. If we don't want to just save this single image, we could go over here to Lightroom Templates and open that up and you could see we have all these different layouts and we could put more than one image. And I think uh, what a lot of people like to do is they like to create contact sheets. So we could go down to let's say a 5x8 contact sheet and you could see that one image is selected so it's up here in the upper left hand corner and you could simply select images to you know uh, add them to it or take them away and we want to add them all so we're gonna go over to the very end hold the shift key down and click on the last image and you can see it filled out this template of this cat uh, or these images of my cat from this one photo session that I, I did with the cat and again to save it we would just go to printer then over here to PDF I'm not going to do it to save time so you have all these different layouts that you could use. Now as I mentioned, I'm not 100% sure this is uh, doable with the Windows version of Lightroom. The next method I'll show you it works with both Windows and Mac. Instead of uh, going through the print module, let me deselect these first. Uh, go to the book module and you can see it pre-populated a uh, supposed book with all these images of my cat. And what we're going to do is clear this book right away. So it's a cleared book. And you see in the upper right hand corner it says book and it says blurb. And you may remember an earlier video I created a blurb book and I sent the uh, images off to blurb which is a company that creates books and they uh, made the book and s shipped it back to me and then I had a video where I showed the completed book. Well, obviously we're not going to uh, create a book. We want to create a PDF. So go to this little drop down and you can see the second choice is PDF. So we want a PDF standard landscape. We do not want any cover. So we're going to go to no cover just like that. And then we could take whatever image we want to create the PDF and just drag it up there like that. And we could export to PDF right here in the lower right hand corner. Now again you could do different layouts and what you would do is you go to this little drop down that's right below the thumb uh, thumbnail of the image and you could see we have all these choices multiple photos uh, things like that uh, 
two, three, four, whatever. We're going to go to multiple photos and you can see all the different choices. And I kind of like this one, this kind of film strip look. So we're going to maximize that by double clicking on it. You can see it looks like a film strip. And again, we could just select all the images and just drag them up there like this. And you can see these are all the images of my cat, Eddie. So we're going to export this book to PDF. It's taking a while. And we're going to call this um, Film Strip FS Eddie for no other reason than I can't think of a better name. And we're going to click Save. Now, this will take a while to render. I noticed the book module does take a while. So I'm going to pause the video and turn it back on when it's done rendering. Okay, it is done rendering the book and we'll go, or I should say the PDF, I apologize. We'll go over here to where it says fseddy.pdf and you can see we have a PDF of this photo session I had with my cat. And it's as simple as that. That's how you create uh, PDFs with Lightroom. I hope that helps. And again, I apologize that I wasn't certain whether or not the first method works with Windows. I've just been away from Windows for so long, I really don't know if it works. So hopefully someone could let me know in the, con or in the um, comment section below. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. If you guys could do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd certainly appreciate that as well. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.